How's it going everyone? My name is Paul. Welcome to the channel. So I had some extra time on my hands today before I had to pick up the kiddos from school. Uh, so I went by Goodwill and I finally found something that I hope I can make a little bit of money on. Um, and it's this. Uh, kind of beat up in a way. It's a Marantz DVD player. The main reason I got it is because it says Marantz on it. Seems like anything that says Marantz uh, can fetch a pretty decent dollar. So, I already know that it does not open up. So it says hello on there. What else does it say? It says no disc. Okay, I didn't see that in the store. So it says open. Nothing opens. Okay. So I already know that's a problem. There's a little bit of cleaning, it's a little scuffed up, just in general. Um, but I've got it hooked up here, so let's see if I get a picture at least. Um, and then we'll open it up and see what's up with the disk drive there, so. So as you can see, it's a little crowded around here, but yeah, I do get a picture, so. Um, anyways, uh, this did not come with a remote. Keep that in mind. Seems like it's never been opened. That's nice. I always like that nice crack. It really got stuck there at the end. There we go. Let's see what lies beneath. There we go. Okay, now that it's open, we'll plug it in. And see what happens when we hit that open button. Oops. No, not closed. I need you to open. There. Okay. So, we'll turn it back off. Uh, let's see about getting this front panel off of here. How are we going to do that? Okay, there we go. So, uh, there is a little tiny thing here on the side that says open, and I just put a toothpick in there um, to kind of push that open. There must just be a problem with the lock itself, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. You just push that in there. Let's see. Yep. Okay, I was hoping that would just come right off, but... Now let's see if we can get this off of here a little bit more. A 
baby. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Again, I was hoping this would come off and get this the rest of the way out of here. I just don't remember how. Let's take these off and see. Actually, I kind of want to leave that on there because, yeah, it holds that in place. Whatever, I can take it off. Okay. All right, now that comes the rest of the way out. Almost. Okay. So, when I put my toothpick in the little hole that says open, what I'm pushing is this part here. Uh, if I can find the little hole again. Pushing that, which drops this. So, there's our play. That should not be there, I would assume. It seems as if there is a problem with the gear. It could have just come on a line one, one time. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, there's no buttons hooked up. Uh, okay, can I get this out of here? No. You know, why? Why, why would you? this again yeah they definitely say don't do this but whatever there you go So I'm thinking there's a problem with that locking gear that, because it should, yeah, stop and then you hit, yeah. So that is our problem and that's not, I don't know, that's definitely a part that I'm gonna have to try to find or just turn around and sell this for parts, so. Um, or come up with another way of fixing it. I don't know. So we'll see. But that's my problem. Okay, so that was definitely not the problem. 
and I still don't know exactly what the problem was, but as you can see, uh, in the course of putting this back together, it works now. So I don't I don't know what was causing it to not open initially. I really don't get it, uh, but it's working. So we'll put this this part back on. Make sure it still works. Okay, there's the problem. Okay, so there's something wrong with this. And it's not getting out of the way enough. Hold this up more. Oh shoot! Yeah. So what? I feel like there should be another piece underneath here, I guess. Like a washer or something should be in there. But I haven't I didn't I haven't seen any extra pieces floating around, so I don't know. That's odd. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to look at a parts list and find out if there's supposed to be something else there. That'll work. After looking at a parts list, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with any of this stuff, so I noticed that there is a magnet in the piece that I just said that I thought might be broken, and there's a magnet in the part that goes in between, the, uh, in the middle of the disc there, and those two things snap together. As you can see, it's kind of stuck right there. I don't know uh, if maybe the motor just doesn't quite have enough power to get that to disconnect. Um, or if there's too much other friction in the gears or something else that I could try. Uh, it works just fine if there's a disc in there, so maybe just a little bit of a shim would help. Um, I really don't know, but if you have an idea, let me know down in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and share and all that, and we'll catch you on the next one, folks.